What's up everybody? JC with Stoner Car Care. This week we are talking about permanently restoring oxidized and faded headlights. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Before we get to fixing and clarifying these headlights, let's talk about why they're happening and why they're getting foggy. So years ago when manufacturers switched over from glass lenses to plastic lenses, they got a lot of benefits. Light weighting, cheaper manufacturing, things like that, cooler designs. But now that they're plastic, the sun, the UV rays, the weather, heat, expansion, contraction, and moisture all cause micro crazing, which is basically very small cracks in your lenses that allows dirt, old plastic, oxidized plastic to build up and fog your lens over time. What we're gonna do is physically remove this outside part of the plastic to let the under layer that's still clear and virgin shine through and clear. We're gonna clarify headlights using two different methods today. Depending on the method you choose, you're gonna use some of the following raw materials. Water, either in a spray bottle or a hose in a bucket, a polisher, microfiber towels, painter's tape, different cuts of sandpaper, some kind of sealant for your final step, and a cutting or a clear coat compound. So depending on how comfortable you are with polishing and sanding your lenses, we're gonna show and highlight two different ways of doing this, but they both start with the same steps. You wanna wash down your lenses, clean them off, and you're gonna tape all around the exterior of your lenses as sandpaper or polishing is gonna mess up or risk damaging your paint and trim around your headlights. For this side, we're just gonna do a hand method. We're gonna tape it off with clean lenses and then we're gonna use a cutting compound and hand polish, and those are the only tools you're gonna need for that before sealing. On our second step, we're gonna use the full gamut of sandpaper, several steps, polishing, sealing, to get the truest, clearest lens, but we're gonna show you the advantages of both. So now that this light is taped off, the benefit of just using the hand method is all you need is a cutting compound or this is our, our clear coat compound and an applicator or a microfiber. The downside is it won't get as clear as our alternative method and it takes a lot of elbow grease. So you're going to load your applicator up and just start working this in different directions to really get through that plastic and it just takes, takes some time and effort. So once you get the product loaded on the lens, just work in different directions and polish this like you're gonna polish your paint. What you want is to drive that product and let the buffing compounds and the abrasives get into that plastic and pull away the old oxidized plastic. And you'll see that you can get a good amount of, you know, that's a combination of dirt and residues and old plastic that you're just pulling off. Just keep using that product to take the layers off until you feel that it's getting smoother and clearer. And that's it. Just takes a little bit of time. Going in different directions, make sure you get as much action on that plastic as you can. You can already see it's clearing up in some of the areas we've hit a few times. With a, with a little bit of effort and a few raw materials, you can get a pretty good improvement on your headlights. Before your final sealant step, just make sure you clean that headlight as much as you can to let the sealant do its job and then help keep this lens looking clear. Now that we've taken that outer layer off, this plastic is actually gonna be more susceptible to fading in the future than it was originally because that outer clear coat has been removed. So what you need to do now is replace that with some kind of sealant. Today we're gonna to use our invisible glass glass ceramic for a durable coating that'll help prevent UV and you know, thermal oxidation from damaging this plastic. Now that we're onto the second side, again, this side has already been cleaned and taped off. We're gonna do some of the same processes but we're also gonna do some sanding beforehand. 
always start with the most coarse sandpaper that you're gonna use and work to finer. So today, these actually aren't all that terrible compared to what you might find in some of the parking lots. We're gonna use a 1500 grit and then move to a 3000. If you have really oxidized headlights, you might wanna start with something like a 600 or a 1000 and then work your way up to something like a 3000. Then we're gonna use our polisher to use the compound and really drive this to a clear plastic finish. Before we start sanding, here's a few tips and tricks. So I've wrapped this 1500 grit sandpaper around one of our uh, glass stripper applicator sponges. And what that does is just give a little bit of contour to help get around some of these odd shapes on the lens when we get to it. The other thing we're gonna be doing, we're actually gonna be wet sanding. And this gives two benefits primarily. One, it helps you know, lubricate and move across the lens better, but it also will carry away some of the dirt and debris and old oxidized plastic as you're cleaning. So you keep constantly getting to agitating newer plastic to get that clear to really pop. So we're gonna use the wet sanding with an applicator sponge and just a quick technique, just to make sure you're getting all of the lens. I'll start with one direction going across for the most part, and then do vertical strokes again, just to make sure primarily you're covering the whole lens um, with the sandpaper, and then you'll see uh, progress as we go along. And what you'll see here, this milky, dirty fluid is actually old plastic and some of the dirt and contaminants getting released from that plastic. So you know you're getting to some of the cleaner plastic underneath. So that's, that's a good sign. So notice after the first sanding step, this is actually maybe a little bit cloudier than it was originally, but it is smooth and we've taken off that extra layer and that fog, what you see is actually just the micro scratches from the sandpaper. So next step, we're gonna go finer. And then obviously the last step, when we clarify that, the polishing compounds will clear that up to a nice crystal clear finish. Next, we're gonna use the same compound we used from before. This is our clear coat compound with our orbital. Again, working in the same direction, make sure you get every bit of that headlight and we're gonna drive this product in to help get that final clear coat to shine through. Using this on paint, don't keep your polish in the same spot for too long. Or you risk burning through and cutting too deep into the plastic. Let the polish and the polisher do the work not your forearms and your elbows. Just like the sandpaper, we're gonna move from the coarse pad to a softer pad as we go on to finer and finer compounds. Final step here, we're just gonna use a fine polisher, a glaze, and the softest pad that we have. Again, same procedure with your polisher. All right, now that we've shown you how to clear up your headlights using two different methods, the final step for both is to seal this plastic. As I mentioned before, now that that clear coat has been removed, we need to protect this to keep them looking clearer longer. So any sealant that you prefer you can use. Today we're gonna to be using Invisible Glass glass ceramic coating, which uses polysilazane, true professional grade ceramic. That's gonna give you a super durable coating to keep that looking clear going forward. After that, you're good to go. Your headlights now are clear. Take off that tape, hit the road, and see better at night. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.